What's up, it's Skidaro here. Welcome back to more Pokemon Coliseum. In the last episode, we started the Deep Coliseum, and in this episode, we are going to continue it. Now, a few things before we get started. First off, I want to take this time to get rid of my rare candy, something I've been meaning to do for a while, and I know exactly who I'm going to level up. First off, I'm going to get everyone to level 60, so Koshi, you get the first rare candy, and the second too. Now, something about rare candies, I'll explain in a minute. Okay, let's see. I'll give the two more to Blackout. Now, rare candies right here, they do level up your Pokemon. However, the EVs you get from them, which is a whole other topic altogether, which I probably won't explain, but um, the EVs are not very good. So, honestly, raising your Pokemon on rare candy is not very good, because I know there's some games where you have an infinite amount of rare candies because of some glitch. So... Honestly, I do not recommend using that infinite rare candy glitch to level up your Pokemon. So, just because they don't get the best stat boost because of them. Anyway, let's see. Who to give this last rare candy to? I am... Hmm. Let's give it to Koshi. I'm going to be using Koshi a lot. So, there we go. Also, speaking of leveling up, I do want to say that off-screen, I went back to Real Gam Tower... And I recaught. Let's see, where is it? There we go. No, not that one. <laughs> this one, yes. I captured Shadow Mill Tank off camera. The one, the other Shadow Pokemon I missed. And during those fights on Real Game Tower, my Pokemon have leveled up. Um, specifically, um, Expo right here. I know other uh, Pokemon have leveled up too, but Expo is really the only one I can remember. He grew to level 61, and also at level 60. He learned Flamethrower, a very powerful fire-type move indeed. I gave up Flame Wheel for that because the latter is better. So yeah, that's all I wanted to explain before we get started with the uh, Deep Coliseum right here. Also, I swept up my team accordingly, so uh, let's get started. Hello, welcome to the Deep Coliseum. Would you like to enter a knockout challenge? Of course we will! And like I said before, all but the last fight are irrelevant, so I'm just going to be skipping up to the last fight. So I will see you all in a minute. Okay, so we are here at the final fight of round two. 
I gotta admit, those preliminary, yeah, preliminary battles really take a lot out of you. And look who our opponent is! Dakum! Ha ha ha! You again! I'll crush you! And thus begins the third fight with Cypher Admin Dakum! Now, he's retreated here to the Deep Coliseum where the police can't obviously find him. So, anyway, he's going to start off with his level 63 Claydol with the ability Levitate with moves Psychic, Earthquake, Sunny Day, and Solar Beam. And I honestly forgot who he sent out a second because I was looking at my sources. And he sent out his Flygon, level 64, with the ability Levitate, with the moves Spire Blast, Earthquake, Sunny Day, and Solar Beam. His strategies have not changed at all. Like Mirror B, he'll still use the Protect Earthquake combo and Sunny Day Solar Beam combo. Now, let's see if I can outspeed his Flygon. Hopefully I can, so... Let's see, use Bite on Clay at all. Oh, 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 wow! <laughs> Actually did outspeed him. That's surprising, too, because my Flygon's like three levels lower. Dang. Anyway, that's good. So, let's see... Ooh, Earth Earthquake's not really going to do that much because, like, most of the Pokemon have Levitate except uh, Umbreon, and Umbreon's a freaking tank, so... Or should I say wall? I can never really get those, um, names correctly. I think a tank is, like, it's good at physical and physical attack and defense, and a wall's, like, good at defending. Anyway, there's Earthquake again. Don't know why he used Earthquake twice. Not like it's going to do all that much to, uh, Blackout right here, like I said before. And there's Levitate again. Let's see. Dragon Breath and Flygon, and fight again. For those of you wondering, um, when I say my sources, I'm actually using uh, Bulbapedia as my sources. They are a very good Pokemon source. But I will say, like, some of their information on Pokemon Coliseum is a little bit out of date, and some stuff is, like, incorrect. And that's actually something I do want to talk about after he sends out his next Pokemon, which is Swampert! Level 65 with the ability Torrent, with the moves Muddy Water, Earthquake, Ice Beam, and Protect. That Ice Beam's gonna prove problematic for uh, Flygon right here because it's time uh, it's quad weak to uh, ice. Anyway, there's Earthquake again. Wow, he's really liking that Earthquake, even though like none of his Pokemon are uh, well, he's not really using Protect, is what I'm saying. Anyway, what, what I want to talk about is that um, you know how players' guys are notorious for being bad, like Prima guys in particular? Well, wait until you see the Pokemon Coliseum guide made by Brandy Games. Yes, I own it, and I will admit I have been using it for some of this LP. I know, I'm, I know, I'm a disgraced LP, yeah, get your hate comments out there. Anyway, Soul Rock right here, level 64 with the ability Levitate, with the moves Rock Slide, Earthquake, Sunny Day, and Explosion. That Explosion can be um, a little threatening because it does a lot of damage by uh, killing itself, and there it goes Blackout. Oh boy. Eh, whatever. I I have a Pokemon to uh, take care of this. Uh, who do who should I send out? Who should I send out? Uh, I'll send out Bugsy. Bugsy, get the job done. So anyway, like I was saying, um, you think Prima guys are bad? Wait until you see the ones made by Bratty Games. Like in the one I have, it says like people here in the Deep Coliseum, their Pokemon are at level well in the mid 80s. That's right. In reality, they're in the mid-60s, but no. The Bratty Games Guide I have says they're in the mid-80s. And if you were someone new to this game and you had the guide to help you, you wouldn't know that. So you would train up your Pokemon to, like, you, like, spend all that time training up your Pokemon to the mid-80s as well and be disappointed in seeing, like, all these Pokemon are uh, mid-60s. So, yeah, that's a little misleading there, Bratty Games. Anyway, his last Pokemon is Houndoom, level 65, with the ability Early Bird, with the moves Protect, Fire Blast, Sunny Day, Solar Beam. This is the Pokemon he replaces his Entei with if you snagged him, so if you didn't snag Entei yet, this would be his Entei, so... I'd be careful because it's still at level 40, so, uh, let's see. Actually, I can use Solar Beam now because he laid down that Sunny Day. Uh, let's see if we can sneak in a Meg Mega Horn on Houndoom right here. Anyway, this should defeat Soul Rock right here, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> And it does! Very good. Very, very good. I will say, though, um, these first few battles with the uh, rematches against the Cypher Admins really aren't that hard. Well, again, I will admit they can be a bit hard. But as long as you have the right support, it shouldn't be too bad. And, uh, oh, man, I should have set up a... Uh, I should have set up an indoor. Whatever. Uh, who just send out next? Uh, let's see. Mind Freak's out of the question. Actually, it doesn't have any Dark-type moves. Uh, let's see. Let's send out Expo! Yeah! 
I just remembered Expo has a uh, earthquake on him. So, uh, and my Koshi has uh, the ability to levitate. So this battle is in the bag. Let's see. Let's use Screech on him, and then earthquake. And why use X accuracy? Okay. Admittedly, he should use that X accuracy to boost the accuracy of his fire blast. But still, he's about to be defeated right here, right now. That was like, that was like pointless. Watch right here. I swear to God, this doesn't defeat him. I will chew on my sock for the rest of the day. And it does! Oh, thank God, I did not want to chew on my sock. I don't know why that I would chew on my sock. Anyway, there we go. And Koshikuru level, very nice. Like I said, he's going to be very helpful in these next few fights. And there we go! We defeated Cypher Admin Dakum for the third time! This can't be! The mighty Dakum loses again! Oh, I didn't think you spoke in the third person, but apparently you do sometimes. Not like this other person from the sequel, which I really can't stand. But anyway, I'm talking about the sequel here. I should be talking about this game. Congratulations! You're the champion! You battle fabulously! Please accept your cash prize of 20,000 plus dollars. And as a victory prize, we received TM48, which I do not know what that TM is on the top of my head, or on the tip of my tongue. Anyway, we get another email. Get used to seeing these emails after you beat every Coliseum round. So let's see, my email. The Deep King! This is Net. I'm getting information about Deep King, but slowly. He does sound like an expert trainer, though. I wonder what kind of Pokemon... You said that last time, Net. You said that last time. Any who's it, I'm going to heal up and save right now, because, honestly, I haven't been doing this much through this LP, but I should be saving a little more after, like, each fight, which I, sp which I do recommend you do, like, save often, so I'm just going to do that right now. Any who's it? Uh, I know that speed up session isn't going to make a full video, so I'm actually going to do another round here. Uh, let's see, who do I want to switch up to? I want to switch to Bugsy and Mind Freak. That's who I want to switch up to. And with that done, let's do the uh, third round. Let's see, Coliseum, of course, we'll enter. And again, all but the last fight are pretty irrelevant, so I'm just going to speed up, play music, and just rinse and repeat, alright? So. I will see you all after this other break. So, once again, we are at the final round of Deep Coliseum's round, uh, three? Yeah, this is three. And our opponent is, if you could guess already, Venus. Yes, we are battling them in order. Oh no, not you again, you annoyingly per-
persistent. And here we go, the third fight with Cypher Admin Venus, the annoying one. I honestly don't know. Honestly, they're all annoying to me in just their own little way. Anyway, she's going to start off with Meganium, level 64 with the ability Overgrow with the moves Leech Sheet, Giga Drain, Attract, and Ingrain. And she's also going to start off with Blissey, level 65 with the ability Searing Grace with the moves Attract, Water Pulse, Flamethrower, and Psychic. And her strategy is the same as well, so stu uh, still use Attract and lay down another like stat ailment. And her Meganium right here is pretty annoying because it'll start healing itself up with moves like Leech Sheet and Ingrain and Giga Drain and all those draining moves. And her Blissey can be annoying as well because, well, <laughs> it's a special tank or wall, whatever. But if you hit it with a physical move, it goes down just like that. Very, very good. That's one annoying thing out of the way. And now her next Pokemon is Raichu, level 63 with the ability Static, with the moves Thunderbolt, Attract, Thunder Wave, and Sweet Kiss. Uh, surprisingly, it has the same moveset as it did the last battle, which is kind of strange. Well, honestly, not that strange, but you know, you know what I'm talking about. All right, let's see if we can hit uh, Raichu with a Psychic, since we're not... We're not, we're not even attacking the same Pokemon that attracted us! What the heck? And there goes Paralysis right there, so I don't have to really worry about paralysis on Mind Freak, but still it's a track, so... And they're synchronized right there, so it was pretty stupid for uh, it to use, uh... Thunder Wave. And... Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, uh, sorry, I had a break for it. Bugsy makes quick work of Meganium with, uh, its Mega Horn. It's Mega to Mega to Mega to Horn. <laughs> Alright. Anyway, her next Pokemon is Dusclops, level 64 with the ability pressure with the moves to track, Confuse Ray, Will-O-Wisp, and Shadow Punch. This thing... It's a jerk, to say the least. I honestly, I don't not like this thing. Uh, let's see, who should I attack? I'm going to attack Raichu and attack Dusclops with uh, that. Alright, hopefully this will, um, Raichu static won't affect me whatsoever. And there goes Raichu right there. Holy crap, Bugsy, you are so powerful. And you didn't even get paralyzed. That is so awesome. Anywho's it, her last Pokemon is Milotic. Level 65 with the ability Marvel Scale. With moves Attract, Ice Beam, Confuse Ray, and Hydro Pump. And this thing! It also sucks! Honestly, it is really hard to take down. And oh god, there's Confuse Ray. I'm. Oh, Mind Freak. Oh man. And keep in mind, these trainers, I believe, also have full restores and other X items like uh, Dakum did. So watch out for that. Uh, let's see. Let's use Mega Horn on Milotic. And. Uh, Psychic on whoever. <laughs> Dust Clops, I don't know. Anyway. Oh, critical hit! Oh, wow! Holy crap! I didn't think it would take that! Uh, holy crap! Oh my god! I am just getting so lucky with this. Hopefully my luck will... Oh, man, it's too good to be true. Anyway, there's Will-O-Wisp right there. Probably going to use that to burn uh, Bugsy right here because Mind Freak is already paralyzed, and you can't have two stat inflictions on one Pokemon. What really sucks about Burr is that it cuts its uh, physical atta or attack stats, so that's bad. Anyway, I've been meaning to say this since last episode, but I'm actually recording with a new headset, which is very, very good. At least for me it is. I don't know, can you guys honestly tell there's a difference in my um, voice quality? I want to know. And Alright, there we go! The finishing blow! Out of there! Very good. Holy crap! I just breezed through that like a breeze in the wind. Honestly, I could use a breeze right now because it's so freaking hot outside and it's coming in my room and now my, my room's hot and now I am sweaty. Anywho's it, we defeated Cypher Admin Venus for the third time. Aye! How dare you! How dare you! That we dare. That we dare. Okay, now after that battle. Let's just get, let's just yeah, collect our awards. Congratulations, you're the champion. You battled fabulously, darling. Please accept your cash prize of twenty-two thousand plus dollars. And we also received TM44, which again, I don't know off the top of my head. Let's see, we'll be looking forward to your next entry. And we get another email from Net. I'm not even going to. Uh, I'm not going to try to spoil you. Yes, that's... Yeah, this email is from Nat. Again, about the Deep King. Again, get used to seeing these. 
This is it. I've been slowly getting more information on the trainer Deep King. He apparently uses a shadow shuckle. He could be very tenacious. Okay, so at least we know where that shadow shuckle stands. So, looks like we're going to be needing to get through that uh, final round, all right? But after that gangbuster, we're going to end things off right here. I guess I wouldn't call it gangbuster, but whatever. So, next time on Pokemon Coliseum, we're hopefully going to finish up the Deep Coliseum. So, see you then.